Now, Hollywood hard man Arnold Schwarzenegger says he never lets his kids sleep in past 7am because they need to embrace the so-called struggle in order to succeed. He says, forget this, I want to be comfortable stuff today. Let's just struggle a little bit. I have no tolerance for laziness, mm. apparently. Are you on his side? Are you a little bit like that? You know, it's like, come on, let's go. Let's get out of bed, folks. Let's do this. Um, are you like that or are you like, it's fine. Uh, sleep in. I'll make you breakfast in bed. Which way? Do I mean, you go? oh, I don't make them breakfast in bed, but um, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't at the weekends. I won't make them get up if they don't need to get up. But also because then I don't have to get up. If I'm getting them <laughs> up at seven at the weekend, I've got to be up. Um, but I do. I I get what he's saying. You know, you don't want your kids to be lazy, and you want them to teach them to work hard and whatever. But I am a nightmare. I thought I'd be a lot tougher than I am. Like, also, I think sometimes it just makes life easier. Like. I put my kids' socks on in the morning because it takes him an hour to put them on. So I'm like, I'll just do it for you. Or like, mm. if they want to eat their dinner in the living room, I do let them. Like I am, I am a bit weak because I just think they're only kids for so long. But I don't know when that will stop. Like my son's turning 11 this year. Maybe secondary school, I'll start to push the don't be so lazy, start doing some chores things maybe. But yeah. at the minute, I'm like. Do they need to know the bad stuff of the world? Mm. They're already at school. They're going to be working for the rest of their lives. Like, give them a break for now. Enjoy yeah. this bit. Yeah. Though. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm a bit like that. Do we model model coddle too much, do you think, Linda? Uh, I well, can I, imagine I you mean, just being, Linda. I am the biggest guilty of still putting my son's socks on and rubbing his feet for him. <laughs> 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 It started when he was little. He used to go, Mum, can you put my socks on for me? And then I'd massage his feet as I put oh his socks on there. And again, I went there to watch you, Big Brother and I was rubbing his feet last night and he's 32. <laughs> <laughs> struggle enough and they got exams and everything. I'll just, you know... Yeah, like, but he's, still, he's not doing exams, he's in his 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Your 11-year-old's got exams coming up and everything. Yeah, and I don't massage his feet. <laughs> <laughs> you still put his socks on, though, do you? The eight-year-old. All right, Linda. No, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I love nothing more than looking after my kids, but now my granddaughters, I love looking after them more than anything else. And anything they want, they can have. When they're in my ass, it's my rules. Oh, mm. I can imagine Don't tell that. Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nanny Linda just spoiling yeah. an apple. Absolutely, everybody. And your children that age, where you kind of have to start thinking, okay, you're you're a bit of a grown up now. Yeah. So you 18, have to take yeah. off the kind of the soft gloves a bit, don't you? Definitely. My daughter's 18 and my son's 14. I think we've had such a transition in the last like four years or so on. I just, I, I think over the last definitely year, I've got to a stage where I just want them to appreciate uh, and understand the work ethics behind mm. getting to where we are. And we're doing it collectively as a family. So whatever I do, you've got to do your bit, he's got to do his bit. And, um, yeah, sometimes I will be on a Saturday morning or Sunday, get up! <laughs> like, yeah, or there's little things. I think as parents, sometimes you do things for them because you're tired and you want it done. There's a particular way you like it to be washed up mm. and particular way you want your kitchen to look. But I'm getting get to the stage where I'm like, no, this is what you have to do, and we work together as a family. If I stop doing what I've got to do, there's certain things you won't have, and if you stop what you're supposed to do, there's certain things I can't do. And I want them to understand that I'm paving a way, but it's not for them to just say, I don't have to do anything, cos you used to... I, I'm doing me, you're going to have to do you <laughs> later on in life when I want to relax. <laughs> so um, I need them to understand that they still have to achieve um, and we're doing it collectively as yeah. a family, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I do get it, though, because you can't tell, but I'm like you, Frankie, you're sort of looking after them and looking and just wanting to do everything for them. And then they, they believe the whole world is exactly like what it is in their home. And yeah. then they suddenly have to go to school and, you know, interact with people that maybe aren't going to be very nice with them that day and it upsets them. And it is having, I guess, to come up with some sort of boundaries where, yes, we love you very much, but... You know, it's not always like that out in the big bad world. Mm, yeah. There has to be a bit of realistic expectations, isn't yeah. it? Because sadly, it, like real life's going to just come in and take the feet out from underneath them at some point because mm -hmm. they're going to get hurt. You don't want that either. Yeah. So I get the struggle bit, but I'm like you. I'll in put a, your in socks a little on. bit. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little bit. I swear, sometimes my kids have been locked out, and before I'd rush to get back. Now I'm like, is it okay? I'll see you in a couple of hours. I've got things to do. Just those little things yeah. sometimes will it's give them a little like, locking yeah. them all out to get stuck yeah. into a dinner. <laughs> 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 um, uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh,